Hello everyone and welcome. This is the second installment of our Tangential Evo Line training video series focused on blank preparation and clearance. Today I will be explaining how your material should be prepared for the thread rolling process. From the chamfer, through the threaded portion, to the undercut, I will provide initial setup conditions and guidelines. Lastly, I will explain why shoulder clearance is important and how to avoid unwanted collisions. Chamfering provides a smooth transition for mating parts and decreases pressure at the edges of the thread roll. During the rolling process, material fills the chamfer from 30 degrees to approximately 45 degrees. Tool life will suffer if chamfers are prepared steeper than 30 degrees. Undercuts require an equal chamfer angle and a relief diameter that is less than or equal to the entry diameter. The undercut prevents the rolls from scratching the relief diameter and allows a female part to fasten completely to the adjacent shoulder. The threaded diameter must be prepared as a straight cylindrical feature. This diameter should be near the average pitch diameter of the finished thread. Controlling the blank diameter is important for process security and success. Small changes to this diameter can greatly affect the final thread dimensions. Typically, changes to the blank diameter are amplified by two to five times on the resulting major diameter. Here you can see a CNC lathe preparing a thread rolling blank. The blank diameter is turned to the average pitch diameter and a chamfer is prepared at 30 degrees. Shoulders are defined as features having diameters larger than the pitch diameter of the thread. Tangential systems have a horseshoe shape to reach around or between shoulders, shown in red. The thinner arm can always straddle a larger diameter than the thicker arm. Since thread size determines how open or closed this horseshoe shape is, each thread size has a different clearance diameter. Contact our technical team if these clearances are a concern for your operation. Three scenarios can be encountered when discussing shoulder clearance. On the left, we are presented with only one shoulder that encounters the thin arm side of the attachment. In the middle, the workpiece has an additional shoulder that requires roll relief. On the right, we have shoulders which encounter the thick and thin arm sides of the attachment. There are three main factors we must consider when addressing the clearance of the thread from the shoulder. First is the chamfer on the thread roll, which is usually about one pitch wide. Next is the wear plate thickness, which is quite thin, approximately one quarter pitch. Finally, we must stay approximately half a pitch away from the shoulder to be sure that we do not collide with the shoulder. The result is approximately one and a half to two pitches of distance between the shoulder and the nearest usable thread. Note, we must also consider the previously mentioned clearance with the attachment. Notice the clearance between the tool and the opposing shoulders. This concludes the second installment of this video series. You should now have the tools assembled, a blank prepared, and be ready to roll your first part. In the next video, we will discuss installing the tool and CNC programming. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.